<laughs> What's happening, everybody? John and John, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee, Drones, and Lockport History. Today, we're going to go check out the old Harrison Radiator Complex, or factory. Yeah, like a series of three buildings uh, right here in Lockport that used to make radiators and parts like that for GM. Yeah. So now, this building has some significance for you because sure. you rent a space there and that's where you roast your coffee. Yeah, they've kind of broken it up into sections for different companies to lease space and we roast our coffee there. Now for drones specifically though, there are some really cool uh, areas to fly. There's some water towers on top of the building that they obviously used for, I don't know, cooling things down sure, when yeah. they're during manufacturing. Huge machines and stuff. Right. Sure, sure. But then you have uh, the atrium. There's an atrium that uh, is all glass or plexiglass anyways that's super long in the middle of one of the buildings and flying the drone through it looks super cool. So we're gonna go fly that and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna have a... a cortado. A cortado. What is a cortado? So it's a short drink. It's like equal portions of espresso and steamed milk and uh, it is does have some sugar in it the way we make it. We kind of do our own riff on a Cuban cortado. A Cuban cortado would normally have some whisk, like, you know, with sugar, with with espresso. Okay. Uh, we're gonna do it a little different. All right. I look forward to it. Cool. Let's go check out this building. Let's do it. So, so far, out of all the drone flights that I've done, I think this was the most exciting for me. I think it was very nice that they let us go up on the roof uh, so I could launch from there and get the water towers, but filming the atrium was amazing. The other thing that I really appreciate about the Harrison building is that it could just be an old factory that's not used anymore just sitting there. Yeah, it's kind of like a flex space. So they've just got all of these businesses right now that are leasing there, and there's still tons of space in there, by the way. But it's, yeah. it's really cool. Lots of different places. Yeah, and they have a farmer's market on the weekends then too. Yeah, well. I think uh, during the winter, it's every first and third Saturday of the month we have our indoor farmer's market. So tell me about a Cortana. A cort <laughs> Cortado? A Cortado. <laughs> tell me about a Cortado. So a Cortado is like, a, I guess the actual drink is a Cuban Cortado. And normally when you would make it, you would use like a a whisk, you'd whisk together some of the espresso with some sugar okay. until it gets a little frothy. Uh, we do it a little different. We take a little shortcut. We actually will tamp sugar directly into the espresso and pull water through that. So that's mm. where we get our sugar from. And then we use steamed milk and make the rest of the drink with the steamed milk. Uh, awesome. But it's very good, yeah. It's a nice balance. All right, there you go. One cortado. So this is a double shot of espresso? Yeah, double shot of espresso and there's a little, just a little bit of sugar in there. We make another drink, which we call a Gibraltar, which has no sugar. It's um, kind of like an East Coast, West Coast kind of take on the same drink. Okay. Okay, so I like it. Yeah, it's strong, but it's... It's strong, but it, I still get the sugary... Slightly. Just slight, and it's got a little bit of a kind of on the, yeah. It's kind of on the back end. Yeah, it's nice. It's not yeah. super sweet. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. So you called it a short drink before. Does that just yeah, mean... it just means less it's milk. It's smaller. Yeah, it's just smaller. Yep. Okay. 
So like it's essentially a latte with sugar mixed in with it, but shorter. So you're yeah. getting a higher concentrated flavor, exactly. more caffeine in a smaller package. Yeah, exactly. Most drinks for espresso are really a matter of how much espresso with how much steamed milk in it. So if you go from cappuccino all the way up to like latte and whatever, uh, or actually from a macchiato if you want to, which is like just a teeny bit of, of espresso or a teeny bit of milk mm -hmm. all the way up to like a latte. It just really depends on how much milk you want in it. And sometimes people will steam milk differently based on the drink, but that's more or less what it is. Well, thank you very much for this. Yeah. And thank you everybody out there for watching this episode of Coffee, Drones, and Lockport History. And please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you see not only the next episode of this series, but any other drone content that I put out on the YouTube channel. And I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up. It makes me very happy. Thanks again, everybody. We'll catch you next time.